everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This one's a little bit different. Um, I'm just showing you, um, I guess, not really a storage idea, just an organising idea, and it's for the embossing folders. This isn't my idea, I saw it on Pinterest and um, really liked it, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, basically, I have quite a few embossing folders. I've got another tub as well. And they're in a cupboard and I just forget about them. And I love them, but I've, you know, I've looked through my tutorials and stuff that I do and I'm very, I'm really struggling to even think of one tutorial where I've actually used an embossing folder, maybe in a card tutorial. So I've made a promise to myself that I'm going to use them more because there's some lovely ones in here, really, really great. Um, and what I've done, so I can keep these still stored in my cupboard, but I've made the little, like, I guess, key ring um, to hang on my trolley. So when I'm sat there and I'm looking for inspiration and getting ideas, I can just grab this and literally flick through all of the embossed folders that I have. And I've done it on the craft card for two reasons. I had a lot of this in scraps because you know that I love using craft card, but also it shows the images really well. Um, different colours don't always show them up so good and I just wanted a consistent um, you know, impression. So. Um, I've got them all here on the craft card and after going through them now I thought oh my god oh that's giving me such a good idea oh I love that one so yeah if you're if you're at a stump you've got a bit of a, a crafting block you don't know what to make and stuff you know maybe do this it might inspire you so um, I've mixed them I mean I've got Christmas in there and stuff like that I'm not gonna you know I haven't got that much that I need to start categorize them categorizing them into you know um, seasons and, and all those kind of holidays and stuff but yeah so it's on a big ring binder um, which I've got here which I picked up from Walmart but I'll share all the links and stuff because you can get these on eBay and Amazon and stuff and they're very inexpensive um, and I'll just quickly run through, you know, one of them here. So I've done them all on two and a half by four card. So I'm just going to, um, so like I said, I just went through, this is all from scraps. So I've not, you know, used up any of my full size card for this, just my scraps. So two and a half by four, you can obviously do any size you want. If you've got bigger embossing folders, so for example, this is one of my big ones, this is a cloud. I still done it on the two and a half by four and just ran that little piece through because all I needed is just a, you know, a quick glance. So for example, I've also got this one here, which is a frame. So I just done the corner of the frame and then I know then that it's, it's that kind of um, style embossing folder. So even if it's huge, don't worry, you just need it to show a little piece of the pattern. So that's another corner one there. So it just shows the corner, so I know. So there it is, all cut down. I've got this one that I need to do here, which is this sprinkles one, which I love. Again, totally forgot really that I had it. Pop that in the middle just so I know I get the full impression. And then I've just set my big shot for my embossing folders. Just run that through, doing it backwards here just because I'm with the camera. Run that one through. And then what I've also gone and done is corner punch them all. So just rounded off all those edges because I figured this is going to get kind of knocked about a bit and you know this way, oh, I think I've used it, I need to empty it. Um, this way it will um, keep them you know nicer, stop them all fraying up. Try and do that one again, let's just trim that piece off there. Well, it has cut it, it's just not gone right through. There we go, that, that will do. And then also rather than, um, so once you've hole punched one, decide where you want to do it. I don't know, about a quarter of an inch down from the top and in from the, the left-hand side there. Then with the next one, just sit it underneath. That's all you need to do. And then line up your hole punch over that hole. And then you know you've got it exact. And then just grab that one and put it over the next one. So there you have it. So I've got a couple of more to do. Literally, I think I've got about four or five left to do. But already on here, I think I've got, I've got 45. And that's on the biggest ring pull. And there's still room to put more on. And then I'm going to put some nice ribbon or something. And then just have that hanging off my trolley. And I just think that's a really cool way to remember what I've got. Um, because I like to have most things on show in my craft room. But the embossing folders are just in a cupboard. And like I said, they just get forgot. But this way, fingers crossed. And you've all heard me now, I'm going to be using embossing folders more. So look out for those tutorials. Hope you like this one today. Um, please subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.